The Message The Bible in Contemporary Language The version of Eugene H. Peterson Genesis Old Testament Genesis chapter 1 Heaven and Earth First this, God created the heavens and earth. All you see, all you don't see. Earth was a soup of nothingness, a bottomless emptiness, an inky blackness. God's spirit brooded like a bird above the watery abyss. God spoke light, and light appeared. God saw that light was good and separated light from dark. God named the light day. He named the dark night. It was evening. It was morning, day one. God spoke sky in the middle of the waters. Separate water from water. God made sky. He separated the water under sky from the water above sky. And there it was. He named sky the heavens. It was evening, it was morning, day two. God spoke, separate, water beneath heaven, gather into one place. Land appeared, and there it was. God named the land earth. He named the pool water ocean. God saw that it was good. God spoke, earth, green up, grow all varieties of seed-bearing plants, every sort of fruit-bearing tree. And there it was. Earth produced green seed-bearing plants, all varieties, and fruit-bearing trees of all sorts. God saw that it was good. It was evening. It was morning. Day three. God spoke, lights, come out. Shining heaven sky, separate day from night. Mark seasons and days and years. Lights in heaven sky to give light to earth. And there it was. God made two big lights. The larger to take charge of day, the smaller to be in charge of night. And he made the stars. God placed them in a heavenly sky to light up earth and oversee day and night to separate light and dark. God saw that it was good. It was evening. It was morning. Day four. God spoke swarm, ocean, with fish and all sea life. Birds fly through the sky over earth. God created the huge whales, all the swarm of life in the waters, and every kind and species of flying birds. God saw that it was good. God blessed them. Prosper, reproduce, fill ocean. Birds reproduce on earth. It was evening. It was morning. Day 5. God spoke, Earth, generate life. Every sort and kind, cattle and reptiles and wild animals, all kinds. And there he was, wild animals of every kind, cattle of all kinds, 
every sort of reptile and bug. God saw that it was good. God spoke, let us make human beings in our image. Make them reflecting our nature so they can be responsible for the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the cattle, and yes, earth itself, and every animal that moves on the face of the earth. God created human beings. He created them God-like, reflecting God's nature. He created them male and female. God blessed them. Prosper, reproduce, fill earth. Take charge. Be responsible for fish in the sea and birds in the air. For every living thing that moves on, this, on the face of earth. Then God said, I've given you every sort of seed-bearing plant on earth and every kind of fruit-bearing tree. Give them then to you for food. To all animals and all birds. Everything that moves and breathes. I give whatever grows out of the ground for food. And there he was. God looked over everything he had made. It was so good, so very good. It was evening. It was morning. Day six.